Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, Windows IoT Core. Uh, I did a video with you guys configuring a Raspberry Pi with the Windows 10 IoT operating system, and I actually had some time over the weekend to play around with it. So I connected my Raspberry Pi to a little hub switch. The hub switch is connected to a network retrieving all the IP addresses. My main computer is hooked up to this hub switch and the Raspberry Pi is also hooked up to the hub switch and it grabbing the IP address and I'm running everything on a virtual machine and everything is talking to each other with no problem. So if your network is configured properly, you should be able to uh, use the default computer name on your Raspberry Pi Windows 10 operating system, which is Min Win PC. Now this window is all about using PowerShell to connect and configure your device, which is Raspberry Pi, hopefully Raspberry Pi, that has Windows IoT Core. So uh, as you can see, I'm able to talk to it. The CPU, the, the input and output is running with no problem. Uh, I'm running a PowerShell command as administrator. To do this, you go into your uh, start, you go into all apps and go all the way down to the Windows setting and you right click on Windows PowerShell and run it as an administrator. Okay, guys. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to start the WIMRM, uh, which is the, the Windows Remote Connection Management. So to do that within your PowerShell command prompt, you need to do a net start WIMRM and hit enter. Now. I already done this before I started the video with you guys. So it says the request services has already been started, but most likely uh, it's not started on your side. So it's going to say starting and the WIM uh, RM is started successfully. Okay. Once that's set up, you need to do is within the PowerShell com console, you need to type in the following. Uh, so it's actually set dash item. Okay. Uh, WS man colon backslash local host backslash client backslash trusted host with the parameter of value and the value is the name of your device. So our device is uh, mini win PC. And we're going to hit enter. You're going to get this prompt. You're going to hit yes. And there you go. Now, this right here is you are trusting this particular device, our Raspberry Pi with Windows 10, uh, to be enabled to access it remotely. You have, to, you have to tell your operating system, your operating system that you're doing all the PowerShell commands. You have to tell it, hey, this uh, device is trustworthy and, you know, we want to remote into it, so let's you know trust it, right? Let's put it into the trusted uh, file. Now, PowerShell can cause a stack overflow exception on the PowerShell client machine. So uh, there is a command that you guys need to run to get a you know to remove it. So it'd be remove uh, module ps read line space and the parameter of force now i'm getting the warning because again i already removed it this is already i already did this stuff already on my machine most likely you're not going to get this error so you should shouldn't be a problem i'm getting this error because i already removed it now the next thing that we need to do is establish our connection so i'm going to do a cls to clear this out and i'm going to do an enter powershell session uh parameter of computer name our computer name is Mini Win PC, right? Space. Uh, another parameter of credentials, and it's going to be the the computer name, which is Mini Min um, Win PC backslash administrator. Hit enter. You can get this prompt, and the default password for this is actually password. So it's lowercase p. The at symbol SSW0RD and press OK. Now, this process connection 
uh, between your PowerShell console to the Raspberry Pi takes between a minute to 30 seconds. Okay, so once everything goes successful, you should see the name of your Windows 10 IoT Raspberry Pi device as, as such and uh, ready to do whatever commands you want. Now, one of the commands that I learned off the bat is TList. TList gives you a rundown of whatever automatically boot up during uh, boot time on your Raspberry Pi. So you should get a list of all the stuff that's running right now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another command that I like is uh, you need to change the password because uh, the default password is password and everyone knows that. So let's change the password. You wanna do is net user uh, administrator and space and give it the new password. So we're gonna do, I'm not gonna tell you my password Oh, but you guys saw it already. Okay, so you change your password. Once you set your password to the new one, you got to make sure you exit out of your session. And once you exit out your session, you want to restart your uh, PowerShell session to your Raspberry Pi. Uh, because if not, whatever, whatever else commands you try to push out to your uh, Windows 10 Raspberry Pi device, it won't go through because it's going to give you an access denied. So the best practice is once you reset your password, uh, log off your session and then re-log in with your new password. And from here, you want to do a SCH task space with the parameter of delete uh, space again with a TN parameter, Microsoft backslash Windows backslash I... O T backslash startup and forward slash F for the parameter and hit enter. Now you only need to do this once. Uh, so we just delete that schedule task. So that's awesome. And the next thing you probably want to do is set a new computer name to your device rather than saying win min PC. Let's give it something else. So I'm going to give it set computer computer name to btnhd because that's what I want. It's awesome. So that's the new name. And to make it work or make it stick, we're going to do a shutdown RT0. We want that to do now, right? And we're going to hit enter. So right now it is shutting down and doing a restart. Once it restarts and uh, we are good to go. We, you know, we changed the password, which is Mandatory, you need to change the password. And again, as you saw, connection to the device is closed. And you need to change the administrative password as well as if you want, you could change the computer name. I, I, I changed the computer name because it's cool. And that's it, guys. I'm still learning about the Windows 10 IoT operating system in the Raspberry Pi and all the commands. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get into it a little bit more. Hopefully, I could do some future videos for you guys. Uh, please leave comments right below. And don't forget about hitting that like button if you enjoy the video because it does support the video as well as it supports this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.